we're back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Part 12. In the last one, we liberated Southwark. Before continuing on and taking a break from liberating London, now we're going to start helping out some of our allies. Starting with Karl Marx. We'll meet him. And then maybe help out Charles Dickens with his ghost club. And then maybe a few more. As well as helping out uh, Charles Darwin as well. Before eventually getting around to some sequence memories. But we regain control of Jacob Fry and Whitechapel. We're gonna head over to the train station. Been a while, been a while. But it's good to be back. Good to be back in Assassin's Creed and there's a thief, I guarantee you. Oh, there he is. If you can see him, join the rooks, friend. There we go. <laughs> Will ya? Not in this town. if he surrenders. That's, that's just simply not true. Oh. Now, the more I think about it, the more this is probably going to be an easy We'll see how the Cat and Mouse. Listen to me. I have been ordered to keep your rallies off the streets. No, you must listen to me. The people in this city are in dire need of your assistance. Oh, you are Jacob Fry, are you not? And Miss Fry. We're at a disadvantage, sir. Karl Marx. Much like you, I am an activist of sorts. You've got the look of a man who wants something. Indeed. You've done more for London citizens lately than any endeavor has accomplished in a decade. But those citizens were already well provided for. I challenge you both to help those who really need your assistance, the working people. An interesting challenge. We accept. Shouldn't we at least talk about these things for... Sod it. We accept. Organizing a discreet yes, meeting of the like-minded friends to discuss trades unions. Alas, the police seem to have noticed my activities. They've stuck to me like flies on Shizer. In any case, I need you to help me get to the meeting without the interference of the police. That makes sense. Those spies are hanging out. I hope you enjoy hard beds and cold. <laughs>
interesting start. <laughs> oh my. Dangerous to stand around Karl Marx. Tonight, sundown. The usual place. I'll be there. You know, I had similar problems with the police in Paris. Well, Paris and Brussels. And also, perhaps Cologne. Our next worthy ally awaits us in a nearby pub. Onwards. No doubt the police already have agents stationed within. I'll wait here until the coast is clear. started here. How are you today? <laughs> if you I'm all right, Gov. You? Right, 
Right, lads. That'll be all. One hour. Right you are, Mr. Marks, sir. I do appreciate your assistance in this matter. Only when workers are able to assemble freely and in strength will we be able to achieve the reforms we most assuredly deserve. Might I trouble you to stay nearby until the meeting is over? I fear we may yet meet with some mischief. Seems the movement is ever doomed to be betrayed from within. Will you fetch the gentleman back here? I would look him in the eye and ask why he went back on his brethren. Rusty? <laughs> oh no. Came back to New Vegas yesterday and did some recording and now I'm in the city. The movement is ever doomed to be betrayed from within. Will you fetch the gentleman back here? Are you mad? You're making a big mistake. Shh. Not one word. What is it? <laughs> I should have done that first. 
Possessed you to do this thing. Has the party not taken care of you? Governor of the Mill Sea, any man what joins a union will be put out of work come sun up. How long will the party feed my family for? If we do not stand together, we are lost. My heart is broken, Simon. Please go. I thank you, my friend. I hope you will continue to aid the struggle when the opportunity presents itself. figure out what those are. Well, that was one Karl Marx mission. Maybe we don't blend in so much. It really is the best outfit. Well, maybe other than the Master Assassin or Blackguard suit. We'll get there, though. Okay. Don't you fall behind. Investigating a haunted carriage, a weary assassin receives a personal letter from a complete stranger. You seem tired, friend. Everything all right? 
No rest for the wicked, Charlie. Today's Ghost Club investigation involves a carriage. It's said to be covered with gold leaf, dazzling passers-by when the sun shines. Naturally, it's rumored to be haunted. Now, let's see if we can find it. I don't require a reason Something to end your life. On. I presume this was once used to carry the mail. Oh, that actually looks remarkably comfortable. What? My darling Fry, how long, how long to be in your arms again? Ever since our last meeting, I have been racked with loneliness. Your absence drives me to despair. I implore you, return to me at once. I long to see you and hear your voice. Do not delay. I await your arrival and offer myself to you completely. Your very own Elizabeth. Steady on.
lost them. Thank you, you have been a great help. Will you please take me home? I owe you my thanks. You have gone to a great deal of trouble for someone you don't even know. What is your name? Jacob Fry, miss. I am Elizabeth. Won't you climb down and sit beside me so that I might see your face? Miss? Where are you? My dearest mama and papa. By the time you read this, I shall likely be dead. I can't marry the Marquis, for I love another. I must escape this brutal tyrant, but I know if I do so, he will hunt me down. I am so afraid. I love you. Goodbye. Your daughter, Elizabeth. You look as though you're just about to collapse. What on earth has happened? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. find Ryuji's vault. Level 6 now, so maybe the city of London's next. We'll find the vault, we'll do marks. Darwin, Dickens, Dickens.
switch on over to Eevee. This is more her thing anyway. Ah. This is... My God, this is Michelle Rouge's vault. <gasps> Michael Rouge's vault? It can't be. You have no idea who that is, do you? I'm the foggiest. He was an assassin. Father had one of his books. Legend says he found some fabulous treasure near Bath that drove him mad. He locked it away beneath London, in a vault that could only be opened by a set of special musical boxes. Special musical boxes? Now who's mad? Secrets of London. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. But I will find Bonnie Maud, Mary Mad Maud, and seek whate'er betides her. Yet I will love beneath or above the dirty earth that hides her. <laughs> now we found one. Secret number 19, Lambeth. The meek, the white, the gentle. Me handle not, nor spare not. But those that cross Tom Reisneros do walk the panther there not. side project for EB. Let's see what's next. Another helix glitch. Those are fun. They give us really nice things. Time of recording, it's about the 14th of August, 
and we're getting closer and closer to Gamescom. I'm hoping that we're going to see a little bit more of Assassin's Creed Shadows. It seems like the internet is once again bullied in a, uh, a developer in the silence. Though, they, they could have been choosing to be assigned all of, on their own, to be fair. But, Bull is formerly of a silent developer, is not a cautious developer. That is just unfortunate. Let's hope we get back to some of the, uh, the story. I mean, the big story. This one probably happens. Oh, a bit of smoke. Narcus intervention. Okay. I think we'll finish up the two Marks memories and then see where we're going. That seems pretty fair to me. Worker plots violent revenge involving some Templar explosives. Stop him before someone gets My hurt. poor friend, Frank Morris. His son dropped dead of exhaustion after finishing an 18 hour shift. Frank is consumed by grief. He blames the government for refusing to protect the rights of the worker. I can't blame him for his rage, but I fear his actions have gone too far. He plans to steal a shipment of nitroglycerin and use it to attack the Houses of Parliament. Killing people and destroying property solves nothing. Democracy is the only road to socialism. Please, stop him before he gets himself or anyone else killed. I expect he's on his way into the city of London now. Perfect. Best deal with this before Morris shows up. What in hell? Who are you? Mark sent me. Now please, be quiet. You tell Mark that I don't need his help, or yours! What do you expect me to do? Even a dog will fight if it wants to me!
here unless you ascend and deal with them. even close. You knew where to find that cart. You must have been tracking shipments for weeks. Tell me where that supply was headed. I might be able to assist you. Find me in Southwark when you're ready. Kids, sell the boots. Supposed to be. Frank Morris has found the Templar stash of explosives, but stopped nothing to acquire. They're moving the shipment, but we must go now. There's a carriage on the next corner. If we hide within, they'll drive us right to it. I'll hide inside it. You're going home. Home? Back to a cold and cheerless house where I'll wear black gloves and sport a weed on my hat for a year. Then I'll return to the factory like a small cog in the great wheel of capital. No, I want justice. I must have those explosives. Nobody's laying their hands on the nitro, chum. Not you, not them. Nobody. Enough blood's been spilled already. I am trying to build a better world, to ensure that no one suffers what my son did. Pray tell me, friend, how much blood do you consider that to be worth? These ones get to live, at least until they drive me to this factory.
They're moving the ship, but we must go now. There's a carriage on the next corner. Uh, if we hide within, they'll drive us right. These ones get to live, at least until they drive me to this factory. I'm sorry, but my need is greater than you know. Justice will be done. Wait, don't shoot! Morris! Poor sod. All right. Gotta smash these crates before anyone else gets any bright ideas.
that. Mr. Morris, I see. I was afraid it would come to this. He was a good man, but even the best of us can lose our way when blinded by grief. Still, I thank you for preventing a greater tragedy. Hopefully they've been brewing for a while. A letter for me. Investor. Buy local shops to increase the train hideout. Income by 1,000 pounds every 30 minutes and add your maximum safe capacity. Add to your maximum safe capacity by 1,000 pounds. Yes, thank you very much. We will. And, speaking of... I want to save up some more money. But it's time to upgrade Jacob and Evie's skills. Stealth helps. So does defense. Driver and shooting. Counter shots. Ooh. Automatic headshots. We'll go with mutilate one. Knife master one.
stuff to. Gotta complete that bracket. Now, we can go with Adrenaline, Execute 2, or Mutilate 2. We can carve through enemies much faster here. The rest of the stealth tree is reserved for Eevee. Or we can become better drivers. That'll be helpful. I think we'll go with Mutilate and go from there. Yeah. Encyclopedia. Oh, we've got more Assassin Intel. Let's take a look. Reconstructed data 22 and 23. Giovanni Borgia, 1503, Rome, Italy. What did the Shroud do to this poor kid? He should be dreaming about the Renaissance equivalent of sunshine and lollipops. Not murder and politics. I've never seen anything like this. Eurodita. In my dreams, I am older. I speak words I do not understand in my waking life, yet in this phantom life, they are clear. I do not know who I am, but I have flashes of what I have done. I am traveled far. I have traveled far and I have taken lives. I am a messenger and a deceiver. The brothers stand before me. I am not one of them yet, but I soon will be tonight. I ascend. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember, nothing is true. Where other men are limited by morality or law, remember, everything is permitted. They leave their mark upon me, a symbolic sacrifice. Searing iron burns the flesh of my hand. All that is left, the leap of faith. They lead each brother plummeting from the tower and landing safely below in a bale of hay. They are like eagles, truly free. I do not hesitate. The fall feels like a flight, exhilarating. Paroto. Giovanni dreamed as Paroto. That means he must have had... Lucrezia memories in there that would make o Opetus, Opi, o Oedipus, <laughs> Oedipus blush. This is bad, bad stuff. You need to dig deeper. I will work on preventing this from reaching any absurdo reports. Much of the project legacy data was compromised by the hacker collective known as Erudito. I'm not sure we can trust the information anymore, but I've included it for completion's sake. Isabella Ardant, 23. Genetic export. Giovanni Borgia, 2 of 7. My brothers have placed a child into my care. His family has long served us, but he is still a pup. I am to teach him the ways of our order as I was taught at his age. He is a scrawny child, bone thin and tall for his age. He will have some difficulty at first but his body will adapt to the training. Francesco is eager as well as thorough. He repeats his questions. He asks me to repeat my demonstrations as he studies. He will not move on with a lesson unless he is satisfied with his results. At times I grow frustrated because he is a perfectionist. Francesco is quick to anger. He charges me with our purpose, sword flailing. I lightly tap him on the side to show how my blade easily passed his uncontrolled attack. I encourage him to calm himself in battle. Emotion is a weakness. I repost and knock Francesco's sword from his grip. He takes it poorly, slumping his shoulders, insulting himself. I pick it up for him and tell him to try again, explaining how to keep a better grip on my weapon. 
It is important to let a child be a child. I leave Francesco with a group of children his age in a nearby village. They put together a small parade and Francesco takes the lead. I cheer for him in his toy armor. I believe Francesco will make an exceptional addition to our order. The boy is strong despite his physical limitations. Speaking with him is like speaking to an adult at times. He is wise beyond his years. We need to do something about you. Oh, well, thank you, baby. next one. We'll continue working with Carl Marx in Where There Is Smoke. But that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for this episode of Let's Play Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Please consider giving us a like and a subscribe if you're enjoying the content as we get back into the rhythm of things. Um, after we get done with a Syndicate, we do have the expansion Jack the Ripper. And then we'll be on to Assassin's Creed Origins, where we may take a small break for a different game. And if you're wanting something else other than our Assassin's Creed Manifold, then please consider to uh, check in some of our Let's Role Plays. We're currently in the middle of Let's Role Play Fallout New Vegas with an NCR solo training center. And we've already completed a Let's Role Play in Fallout 3 with a, um, a good natured, good karma character named Henry. I have many more plans and it'll be a good time. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time. Keep telling stories.